So I kind of wanted to just make a quick candid video, I'm not going to really edit this too much, to talk about my own coverage of Creation Club on my channel. A lot of people have been asking in the comments section, hey, are you going to be covering Creation Club? What is my kind of involvement with it, etc, etc. And I more or less wanted to just get that all cleared up in one video. So starting off, it kind of seems like Creation Club has been put on the back burner, at least slightly. We haven't had any updates since the announcement at the E3 press conference that was almost two months ago now. I know internally they were kind of looking at it, looking at the program because there were such a big backlash. I think they really want it to work and to do that successfully, you know, maybe that requires some tweaking. I definitely don't think it's dead. I imagine it's still going to be coming out over the next few weeks or months. I did say summer, so they do have till September 21st if you want to be technical about it. As far as I go, I plan to cover Creation Club mods. I don't necessarily not support the program. I don't necessarily support the program either. I really want to kind of reserve judgment so we actually see what kind of mods are going to be coming out. There's definitely stuff I would pay for. Take like the RU556. I imagine a lot of us would pay a couple dollars maybe five to ten dollars at most for that weapon mod because it is just so high quality and such a really blast to use preferably i would want it to be under five dollars for most people to be able to buy it and for me realistically to pay for it but more or less my stance on this is if the creation club is putting forward a quality content that is worth the money i will pay the money for it that's the other topic i want to move on to as of right now bethesda hasn't contacted me or as far as i know any other youtubers about creation club or really kind of stipending creation club something i know developers would with other video games with similar systems do is they actually give youtubers money to kind of buy things on their platform so for instance let's say they give me $30 to use on creation club a month so then I show you different mods that are coming out on the platform because if I have to spend my own money I'd be a lot less inclined to actually go and buy those different things and then me making a video on it is kind of advertising it so they will make more money that way as of right now it doesn't seem like that's going to be happening maybe this will change when creation club is actually released but if I have to pay my own money for each and every mod I want to make a video Video on that's gonna get pretty expensive pretty quickly they have to be some really high quality mods and obviously I can't do it all that often personally I don't really think there's many mods I would want to pay for unless again they were really good because I don't play a ton of Fallout 4 the only times I play it is when I'm filming or when I'm actually doing my survival playthrough which I'm pretty satisfied with so to pay five to ten dollars to play with the mod for a couple hours to make a video on it would again get pretty expensive for me time will tell we'll see what actually happens with this we'll see how high quality the mods are but if it's just kind of a power armor that's slightly different I probably won't be paying for it. Yeah, it's pretty much going to wrap it up. Again, I just wanted to kind of clear things up, tell you where I stand on the topic because it has been so long since this and I know a lot of people have been kind of having a renewed interest in it for whatever reason. As always, again, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're having a good Tuesday. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah, I think so. And well, I hope to see you guys all next time. Later!